don't do this every single day. Um, I actually don't really use heat on my hair, like, ever. Um, but right now I'm on day four hair. So I always um, try my best to make my hair look as good as possible, even though it's been a while because I haven't washed it. I just used the Batiste Divine Dog Hint of Color dry shampoo and then I rub it in I take my brush brush it out about self-love quickie because I want you guys to be able to not only do the deep work not only do the massive shifts but also to realize that you know even small things, even little steps, even little jumps, little leaps are just as important. So we can be proud of within ourselves. In every single moment, there is something that we can acknowledge within ourselves without having to downplay it, without having to say, oh yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I've backpedaled in my own life, but with every backpedal, that lesson deepened the lesson for me, if that makes sense. When it would be like, how do, like, we all have that friend who is always shitting on themselves and they're never fun to be around. And, uh, or even like, you know, just all these weight loss things, whatever it may be, we're always being told things that we need to improve, change, and fix within ourselves. See your own beauty, you're always going to be searching for that approval, for that compliment. You elevate to the next level. So just right now, I want you to think of just five or ten things. I mean, hell, go on a rampage if you want to, but minimum five things that you love about yourself. If you love your laugh, if you love your beautiful sparkling eyes, I love the way that I'm able to make my friends feel seen. And step number three, to love yourself more right now in this moment. So we have first, you know, honor where you're at, acknowledge but I want you to close your eyes and I want you to envision your highest self. Are you in a relationship? Are you single? What's your job look like? All of these things. Hold energy for this space. And in this energy, I want you to really, really hold it and just keep this image in your head. There are three small things that you can do every day that are committing you to vibrating higher, to being an energetic man. The vision for this, no more fucking believing the bullshit that you're not good enough, that you can't grow, that you can't move, that you can't shift, that where you're at is all you're ever gonna be. Love. I love you, babe, so much. in an apartment complex he lives on like the third floor of this complex and he has to start his vehicle like that every single morning and I understand it's a vehicle it gets him from point A to point B blah 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 but why do you have to park your vehicle there's other parking like over there far away from the apartment complex where Drew parks every single day why do you have to park such a loud vehicle right next to people's windows and that's an every morning thing and it's currently 9 35 so like that's not that bad but it is a weekend so some people might have been trying to fucking sleep he has to work like super early in the morning so he does that at like 7 a.m <sighs> anyway
Again. Um, so we are completely ready for the day. I just have a small win. This shirt, when my mom gave it to me, did not fit me, and now it does, which is just a small little win. On days that I work, I normally from here go straight to work um, because I am completely ready, uh, but obviously it's Sunday, so I'm not going to work today. I'm going to attempt to adventure around the next town over and take some photographs of it. Okay, so it's like a high of 72 today um, and only 60 degrees outside, so I had to put a little extra layers on because I was so cold. Some leggings and an oversized hoodie just so that I could be comfortable. Average day at this point, I would normally mix up a smoothie. Um, it's not really an average day. So I'm probably not going to make myself one because I'm going to head to the next town over so I think I'm going to just like grab a coffee. Guys, I am seriously freezing. I completely forgot to set up my camera when I ordered but I got a um, bacon gouda sandwich and a venti cold brew with caramel and cream. Hi. Hi. Get 770. Okay. I love your cover. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Do you want a receipt? No, I don't need one. Thank you. Sandwich here. Thank you. And your cold brew. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, have a great day. You too. Can we talk about how I'm already passing my apartment again? Like that's how close I live to a Starbucks. Alright guys. I think I'm going to probably call it quits for this morning get ready with me because in my morning routine because we are way past the morning and everything. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss any future videos that I'm coming out with. Let me know what you guys do in the morning so that I can... Uh, base my morning practice off of that too. I really want to get into journaling, but that's just really not realistic for getting ready in the morning for me because I sleep until literally the last possible moment and then I get up and have to get ready and leave pretty quickly. It's my average morning, so I will see you all in my next video. In the meantime, make sure to spread some positivity. Bye guys!